It's no secret the Catholic Church is a leader in many aspects, such as health care, education, and also communication. Nearly 90 years ago, the very first international broadcasting outlet in the world began, and it was also started by the Catholic Church, Vatican Radio. Andre Tornielli is the editorial director of the Vatican's Dicastery of Communication, of which the radio is a part. Vatican Radio is almost 90 years old. It was founded at the request of Pius XI to show that the Holy See has always paid attention to means of communication. He immediately understood that the radio would be a powerful means of communication for the future and to include many people in the Catholic world. Yet while the radio began with four languages, it grew. Now countries such as Slovakia, Hungary and Poland are represented as one of the 35 languages with their own radio program, transmitting the Pope's words and messages to the world. While the largest language in the world, Chinese, with 1.2 billion native speakers, receives news about the Pope, also the second largest, Spanish. Spanish-speaking people are not only found in Latin America, the United States, or in Europe. There's also a community of Latin Americans in New Zealand. No matter where they are, they can connect with our website and listen to the voice of the Pope and what the Pope's doing at certain times, like at Easter or Christmas. Most of the journalists who work at the radio have worked there for an average of 20 years. They've seen different popes come and go and learned each one's preferred mode of communication. One of the longest standing journalists is Sean Patrick Lovett. He's been at the Vatican Radio for 45 years. He's the director of English programming and has seen five popes. Paul VI, John Paul I, John Paul II, Benedict XVI and now Francis has brought and brings his own particular style. But if I have to think of a turning point, it would be at 17 minutes past five on May the 13th, 1981. The four shots that shook the world when Pope St. John Paul II was shot in St. Peter's Square just down the road. That was probably one of the, the great moments in, in my radio career, I think. The particular aspect about Vatican Radio is that each career and program incited is different. For example, the only channel in the entire radio that transmits live is Italian. It's a local radio wave show that airs from 7.30 a.m. to 8 p.m. They have a talk show, various guests, news on Pope Francis, and also music. We really like that this studio here behind me is a meeting place, hosting not only Catholics, not just Christians, but expanding to the secular world and to people from other religious denominations. In short, it's a radio that can be a place of encounter. It's a radio going out to the peripheries, as like Pope Francis asks. From the very beginning until now, in the middle of their reform process, the radio has continued. Its 90th birthday will be celebrated on February 12, 2021, in just two years. Vatican and World News.